Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this autumnal look, which I'm loving with the glue. And I love dark lips for the autumn, I just think they're really cute and bold and complimentary on many people. And they're really easy and quick to do, but I thought I'd throw in this cut crease, which wasn't actually supposed to be a cut crease at the beginning, it just kind of just happened. So. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette in this, so if you have that, you can copy me exactly. Oh, lucky for you. And I'm loving this. Such a bright hair right now. Because I've moved house into a new shared house, which I'm really liking. And I love my bedroom right now. It's just how I wanted it. So life is good. So if you want to see how I got this look and achieved it, then keep on watching. So I'm going to be taking my Modern Renaissance and the Stance of Beverly Hills palette and I'm taking the Morphe E30 brush and I'm taking Tempura which is just a base shade and just brushing that all over my lids for a nice base and I've already put my primer on as well and this is a little angle brush that I'm taking which I got free when I went on like this benefit boat thing in London which was pretty cool, anyone can go on it as well and it's just a little one you can have guess and I'm going to be taking burnt orange which is a lightish orange shade and I'm going to be making an angle with it just along my lash line as well and flick it up and out making sure you bring that along the lash line as well And then once you have done that, take your brush and just brush it into your crease like so. And then take the Morphe E17 which is a smaller fluffy brush. I'm just going to blend that out and dip into burnt orange as well and start blending out the crease. Making sure there's no harsh lines harsh lines. This wasn't even supposed to be a cut crease when I first started, it kind of ended up being more, so that's fun, isn't it? Then I'm going to run it along my lash line as well and just blend out that one too. Just adding a little more. Then taking Rilga, 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 whatever that is, and just copying what we did just with this colour of running it slightly closer ooh, to the lash line. Going back in with that other brush and blending it out again. And don't worry if it's messy here because we're going to clean it up after. Next I'm going to be going in with Cypress Umber which is a dark brow shade and a very very little amount of that because it is very pigmented and we don't want too much because I don't want this look to be too dark. Even though it did end up going back in with the E17 and fluffing it all out together and blending it. I'm currently sitting on my feet because my swivelly chair that I've got in this new room shows in the camera if I don't sit on it. On my feet, I mean, higher. It shows like the back of it. So, right now, my feet are dying. Next, I'm going in with a clean one of these angle brushes. I'm going in with Tempera again, and I'm just cleaning up the lid area. Starting on the outer bit and then going to the inner because I don't want it to be a harsh cut crease on the inner bit. I'm just cleaning up these edges, making sure not to ruin the blending on the centre section of your eyes. And just keep going back and forth with those two brushes, cleaning up the outer edge to give yourself a bit of a wing. 
and taking a dense fluffy brush, and this is a Real Techniques brush, I'm going to go into Burnt Orange again and just run that under the laugh line. Then going in with the angle brush again, I'm going to take Real Gar, Real Gar, I still don't get it, and putting that on the outer corner, running it in a bit. Then Cypress Umber and putting it really close to the lash line. And then taking my E17 and just fluffing it together a bit. Then taking a flat brush, whether it's a concealer brush or a shader brush, I'm going to be taking a concealer, which this is LA Pro Conceal in Light Ivory. Just a tiny bit. And I'm going to just cut the edge to neaten it up. Then I'm going to take the mirror, which is the highlighting shade, and just pop that on the inner corner. Then I'm going to be taking my Mega Volume Miss Manga L'Oreal Mascara and just curl it in my lashes. So I've applied some false lashes and whilst waiting for that to dry, I'm going to take this NYX Lip La... 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 I'm going to take this NYX Lip Liner in Hot Cuckoo, which is a dark brown. I like my lips. Then I'm going to take Salem by Lime Crime, which is completely drying out, and put that all over. So this is the final look, and it's a very cute autumnal look with a dark lip. And I haven't done like a dark lip like this in quite a while, which I love. I love really dark lips it's always been my kind of thing i've always loved it because i love kind of putting on a bit of eyeliner or nothing in a dark lip it just boosts up and it takes no time so yeah and i hope you enjoyed this look and please excuse this mess i haven't done a thing to it so i hope you enjoyed this look and if you want to leave a comment down below that'd be lovely and uh, check out my social media And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye. And I'm taking my Morphe E30. I'm gonna take this lips. I'm gonna take this next lips line. See.